Hello Embers, welcome to the channel, Final Flame here, and today we are here with the Genshin Impact Manga Chapter 7, Dusty Chest. So, without any further ado, let's get into it and continue this daily grind. So, these Cecilias are beautiful. You can't find them anywhere but at Star Snatch Cliff. They're known to enjoy windy weather and can also survive harsh winters. What an awesome garden. You didn't come all this all the way up here to give me gardening lessons, I suppose. Tell me, what's the reason of your visit? Well, trust me, I wanted to stay at the library, but everyone is so busy right now, so I felt a bit lonely. How about doing me the favor of your company, Mr. DeLuke? Let me be clear. Despite what all of you may think, I have nothing to do with that incident. Kai already questioned me about this before. Well, actually, we found new clues. And I'm afraid that this case has everything to do with you now. The evidence found after the carriage explosion of two days ago let us think that the same culprit was behind what happened to your father three years ago. How did you find out about this? It was supposed to be a secret. Never mind, Jean told you about it, didn't she? She did, but I want to hear more from you. All I want is to solve the case, solve this case quickly so we can all go back to our lives, nothing more. That's why I need you to tell me, Mr. DeLuke. What exactly happened three years ago? Okay, chapter seven, Dusty Chess. <laughs> I guess they're not the biggest fans of uh, Kaya, but hey, be like that. Don't mean to intrude, but may I have the pleasure of learning your name? This guy, he's a knight. Hmm. Well, cat, got your tongue? I'm nothing but a lost wanderer, sir. Or uh, unworthy of your precious time. With the dreadful incident that just happened two days ago, it's only natural to investigate folk who walk around the city, am I right? What about you, little wanderer? Tell me, when did you arrive in Mondstadt? Sir Kaya, I hope you weren't bullying my friend, were you? Hey, my bad, Amber. Then could you please introduce your lovely friend to me? Of course, her name is... And Amber, this whole time, never even asked her name. Come on, tell him. Uh, well, my name is Coley. Kaya, great timing. I need to talk to you about the new clues on our case. Hey, in the end, did you find what you were looking for? What? Oh, yeah. Yet, yeah, not yet. <laughs> Excuse me, the lady forgot this when she was tidying up her documents earlier. Oh, what is it? This document certainly holds the biggest clue to our investigation so far. Lisa found out similar combustion marks on another incident that happened three years ago, which is related to DeLuke. For this reason, we suspect that he may be involved in our case as well. This incident. DeLuke was celebrating his coming of age on the day it happened. Hmm. I'll tell you only once, so listen carefully. Three years ago. Cheers! Congrats, Master DeLuke. You're an adult now. Come on, have a drink. Thanks, but I'll pass this time. <laughs> right, I forgot you were still on duty. <laughs> Don't worry, feel free to stop by our winery anytime and we'll drink together to your heart's content. How generous of you, Mr. Crepus. Let's get going, Deluke. We should head back home before it starts raining, don't you think? Yes, father. Aw, oh, snap. We're gonna learn the backstory of Deluke's dad? Ooh, this is not gonna end well. All right, here we go. Hey, be careful. Ok, 
Okay, it's the Fatui thing that we saw earlier that, that Amber had. I wanted to become a knight too when I was your age. However, I wasn't fit for the job. The gods also had other plans for me. But you've succeeded where I failed. The Knights of Favonius are lucky to count someone as brilliant as you, you among their ranks. Please don't belittle yourself, Father. You contribute to Mondstadt as much as the Knights, but in a different way. You're right. <laughs> I know I am. Well, Deluc, I'm so proud of you, my son. I guess you won't need this anymore. At that time, if I realized sooner that something was amiss, if I was stronger, then none of this would have happened. Father! Okay, so he's using that power. How? Oh, snap. Great job. You managed to defeat it. Now we... Hey, Father? We came to help. Are you alright? Oh my gosh. Everything happened so fast. Why? Why couldn't I do anything to stop it? Father. We suffered a tragic loss. So Deluke's father was killed by Ursa? Is that what really happened? Yes. I saw everything with my own eyes on that day. But didn't you just say that Deluke's father defeated Ursa? Then why did he... Actually, his power backfired on him. Ooh, Coley knows more than she's leading on! Okay. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's sad how... Uh, Deluke's father went out, but Coley seems to have a reason for why the situation ended as it did. So I guess we'll find out in chapter eight tomorrow. Until then, though, I hope you embers enjoyed the video and keep burning bright. Until next time, let's hope. I stay cooking in the stove like I'm John Lane Get too close, I put that flame on you like two town mates Try to run, you won't get far, my gun, you got sniper aim One day when we find our full bling, we'll see brighter days Yeah, yeah, wishing for brighter days Wishing for finer things, like a five-star name Yeah, I'm addicted to pain, keep on wishing the game Bitch, I want